Today I'm going to take you through marine processes but focusing specifically on wave action. So we'll be looking at the definitions of words such as swash and fetch and we'll be looking at the types of wave from both a constructive and destructive point of view. So starting with the term fetch, this is the length of water the wind blows over. If we consider the factors which influence the size of the waves, first of all the strength of the wind, the stronger the wind, the bigger the wave, the time frame that that wind is blowing over, the longer the wind blows for, the bigger the wave, and then lastly the fetch size, because obviously the longer the length of water that wind blows over, the bigger the waves formed. The prevailing wind is the dominant direction the wind is blowing across. So in England, the southwest coast prevailing wind comes from a southwest direction, which means it blows over the length of the Atlantic Ocean. So how do those waves form? Out at sea, the wind tugs at the surface of the water, causing the wave shape to move. Within a wave, water moves in a circular motion. When a wave moves into shallower water, friction causes the waves to slow at the base, and then friction causes the wave to break at the top because the wave is traveling faster here. And then as waves break onto the shore, this is known as a swash. The beach will absorb the energy of the wave and then the water will drain back to sea, and this is known as the backwash. There are two types of wave you need to know about, both constructive and destructive. Now, first of all, a constructive wave has a long wavelength, a strong swash and a weak backwash, and this helps to build up a beach. Constructive waves can reduce the gradient of a beach because they have such a strong swash and a weak backwash, therefore material gets deposited on the beach, therefore reducing its gradient. In comparison, a destructive wave has a short wavelength, a strong backwash and a weak swash. And as you can imagine, that will cause beach material to be moved back down to the sea. And fundamentally, a destructive wave will erode a beach. 